Alright boys and girls and welcome to Gordon Guitar. So we have Olivia Rodrigo with her new song called Good For You. So Olivia she's back here as a punk rocker and you can say she brings back the 90s here with a modern touch. So let's start. We need to have our capo set here on the second fret and we need to learn six different chords here. So first off it's the E minor. It's open E. 2nd A, 2nd D, open G, open B and open E. And the next chord is the D. So it's open D, 2nd G, 3rd B and 2nd E. And we go to the C chord here. So 3rd on A, 2nd on D, open G, 1st B and open E. And then we have this B7, and in this song I like to play it like this. Uh, you can have another grip here with a bar chord, but I prefer this one. So that gives us the second here on the A string, the first on the D string, and the second on the G string. Open B and second E. Uh, but in this particular song we will not strum here on the on the top strings down here we will only use the bass so this is probably what you need to hold here the A, D and G string but this is the full chord and we move on to the G chord here so it's third on E, second on A, open D, open G, third on B and third on E and the final chord is the A so open A, second D, second G 2nd B and open E. So there's your chords and um, we will start to see how to play this verse here because this one is a bit special. The, there's one bass going on here and also kind of a fast strumming. So this mixed together and that gives us the way that I show you in the intro here. This is kind of a uh, yeah how to play it on one guitar. So that is what I'm gonna demonstrate for you right now. So first we're gonna play between the E minor and the D. So to get this bass and the strumming pattern you will have to hit this note here on the 2nd fret A string. So... So first off the 2nd fret A string and then two hammers on the E minor with a clap. So... That's the first part. Then you hammer on the E minor as well, one more time, and you switch to the D chord here, and a clap. So, so slowly, together it sounds like this. So the second fret A string, two hammers on the E minor, clap, then E minor again, and D, and clap. And when I strum on the chords there, E minor and D, I play on those uh, bass strings. So for the E minor, I play kind of the E, A, and perhaps the D string here. You get these bass notes here, bass strings. And on the D chord, I, I play mostly on the D and G string here. And I give this a clap like this. So. Over again here. So you do this three times, and on the fourth time, you hit the same note here on the second fret A string, but instead of E minor, you play the C 
and instead of the D, you play the B7. So the fourth time will be like this, slowly. So, note, C, C, clap, C, B7, clap. And this is kind of one round. So three, three times E minor D and the fourth time C and B7. That is one round and you will play two rounds for the first verse there. So uh, together one round will sound like this. Two rounds and then we are at the chorus. Here the song completely changes. We will have new chords and uh, also a strumming pattern which we will need to look at a bit here. So first off, the chord progression will be from C to G to D to E minor to D and back to C. So that is the chord progression and you will play this four rounds. Now, how will we play this one? Yeah, it's a strumming pattern here that is not that, uh, yeah, in the same way through the whole song is pretty irregular so I'm gonna show you exactly how I play it and uh, how you should play it and I will divide it into the different chords so for the first here C here it will be down 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 up down so and remember this is pretty fast so I'm gonna show a bit slowly here down 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 up down and then we go to the G it will be up, up, down, up, up, down, up. So together. Down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. And in full speed like this. Yeah. Then we move on to the D chord and it will be down, 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 up, down, up, up, down. Pretty much the same, uh, yeah, kind of same pattern, not really, but uh, almost. So the slow, slow version here will be. So the D starts exactly as in the, the way of playing the C. So it's down, 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 up, down. But the second part is just up, up, down. So. And then we go to the E minor, just one up. And then to the D, just one up. And to the C, one up. And that is the pattern, uh, kind of, yeah, if you see this as a whole pattern for this chord progression, it will be uh, this one, and you will play this four rounds. So I'm going to play it slowly for you, so you can really hear the ups and downs here, and perhaps follow, and then I will show you how to play it in, uh, in the standard tempo. So follow me. And in standard tempo, it would be something like this. Yeah, uh, this one uh, is a bit tricky because it would be much easier to just play the same for each chord but you're really yeah it's it's hard to do that and if you do that you um, you will not pre play the exact way how this sh the song should be played and so 
uh, that's why I showed you how I would prefer to play it and um, it's absolutely not uh, impossible you will just get the need to get the feeling here for this astronomy pattern uh, so yeah that's uh, the course here four rounds of this and then uh, we will have this instrumental part which consists of the E minor D and A so um, yeah it builds on the same strumming pattern as in the chorus so on the E minor you will play down 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 up down so yeah, in the same way as the C and D in the in the chorus and then uh, the D will be up up down and the A will be up up down up so it's uh, yeah pretty much it's the same as the C and G in the chorus that's just divided into three chords instead of two so it will sound like this. Down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down. Yeah, uh, you will play this two rounds and uh, that's it for the instrumental part. Then comes the second verse, a second chorus and the instrumental part as well again. And then we'll have this uh, little bridge here where she starts to say maybe I'm too emotional. It's the same chords here as in the instrumental part. It's the E minor DNA uh, and you will play it pretty easy. It's just one down up for each chord. So for E minor, it will be done up with a pause and then D and A, so. E minor, pause. D, A, E minor. D, A, E minor. You will play this four times um, in, in the bridge. The first four times like this, the, the last four times, uh, so in total will be eight times, the last you will add one extra down up for each chord, so it will be... And that builds up until the last chorus. And that pretty much covers this song, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, and Oliver Rodrigo, good for you. Pretty easy song to play. Only part is where you need to handle the strumming pattern here in the chorus. Otherwise, I uh, I feel this is fully play fully playable for a guitar only. Uh, if you did like this one, please uh, thumb up, subscribe, and don't forget, play tuned.